Welcome to Keep It 100 over my high school sports on this Wednesday, 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 Wednesday afternoon with my man Big E. What's up, Big E? Oh, nothing much. You know, it's spring break, so uh got a little bit of break from uh, the schoolwork and, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you know. Been busy, Big E. Yeah. I know we, we've, we've taken a couple weeks off. We'll get everything back to uh, crunking and going here in a you know, few weeks. Spring ball about to start, track start. Yeah. Uh, a little recap basketball, recap a little college wrestling. College wrestling, folks. I'm I'm mentally drained, just tired, wore out. Now I'll fix start AU basketball. But it's good to be here on a Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon with my man Big E. Jonah had to work, so we're doing a show without him, but he's here in spirit. So, Jonah. <laughs> So he's uh, he's here in spirit. But Big E, what, what else going on? Like I said, I know you're on spring break. Yep. I get a chance and, and a chance to enjoy it. Uh, what you got going? You, you said you went to the Drake concert. Right? I did. I did. I go to. I went to the Drake and J Cole concert. Okay. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, you know, it's actually kind of funny. I uh, there's this dude. I so thing about me. I've been playing Madden hardcore for like the past like five six years. I like I get in there and I join these like competitive leagues okay. and try to play people. So I met this dude like five years ago playing Madden and you know we just kept in contact and everything and uh you know he's a big Drake fan and I'm a big J. Cole fan and you know he was like oh we got to go to this concert and we never met in person but we've been talking for like oh, five that's, six that's years he's, yeah he's from New Mexico kind of like a pin pal yeah <laughs> so but uh you know he uh he flew out for the concert I picked him up like so it was cool being able to meet him a dude that like you know you just knew playing the game for a long time I don't know some people think it's weird no no but I, I think that's I think, cool think man cool. Uh, yeah. I mean you know I'm a I'm a gamer I, yeah. uh, I just downloaded uh, uh the show the new one yeah the new one 24 yeah ain't got a chance to play it yet like I said just kind of mentally drained man you know big shout out to my son um winning a college mm-hmm. division two, no matter what division, yeah. when you can win a national championship on your own individual, it's big time. Absolutely. So, uh, really super proud yeah. of him. We're going to have a couple special guests. We're going to have, hey, not only do we do high school sport, but we're going to have UCO's head coach, Coach Stiley, Todd Stiley, the head coach back to back national champions. And, and probably going to try to get a third one because right, that's what he's doing over there at UCO. He got he got him going on. I mean, uh, uh, oh, you can't talk about him. Uh, OSU, yeah, they had a hell of a year, but uh, Stiley can walk around with his chest poked out because he's back-to-back national championship. And we're also going to have a, a a young point guard on, Midwest East point guard, Roy Henderson. Uh, I think he hit the winning free throws. Well, actually, I think to, to still the semifinal game in the championship game, we're going to talk about his year. Uh, you know, junior year, he wins five games, and he comes back. A Cinderella story. Uh, becomes a what? State champion. Yeah. Absolutely. So you can't and, talk. And, uh, Coach Noel's first year. Yeah. So and, and I Coach mean. Noel, he won't come join us, but we'll get one of his players <laughs> about that Big E. Yeah. But congratulations to Coach Noel. We're gonna we're gonna recap real quick the uh, the, the high school games, and then we'll move on and and, and have a couple guests and, and and enjoy the rest of our uh, Wednesday afternoon. So we'll start up here, uh, Big Six A, right? Yep. Um, we got the boys Six A. You got uh, uh, a Wassel beating. Edmund North that was going for the third state champion. Yep. And uh and and, and you know, I also got a, a, a good uh point guard. I, I can't think of his name off the bat. Uh about a six, seven, six, eight guard that can play. Um I have it right off the top of my head and I and I knew I was gonna say it, but uh he he you know, he he carried the uh Owasso Rams over to Edmund Edmund North. You know, Edmund North was going for the third state state championship and come up short, so um Sucks for those guys, but happy for the Wassel. Then the girls 6A, you have PC West over Edmond North. So Edmond uh, was a sad town on Saturday. Uh, the boys and girls both got beat, but they understand what it's like to be a winner because they both have won two and they both was looking for number three. But PC West, um, a bomber coach, Jefferson, um, you know, played at Midwest City on the state championship team, um, gets the uh, win. For PC West, you know, Lenny Burt was over there. Both of Lenny's daughters on the team. So, congratulations to the Burt family uh, winning a high school state champion. I know Lenny has won uh, a few himself when he was a coach, but his daughters get to wear a ring around and, and, and feel like a, a, a champion. So, congratulations to the boys and girls. Then moving down to 5A, you had um, Midwood City boys over Booker T. Now, E, this is a great game. Um, um, you know, Midwood City – it's you know a team like I said when we talked to Henderson won five games and found a way to get to the championship and uh, you know knocked off Colorado to semifinals uh, you know a team they didn't play and they used to play 
earlier in the season, but since they did went to district, they're not in the same district. But uh, Midwood, so Midwood City had beat Dale City twice in Carl Albert, so you can call them the king of Middale. Yeah. And so, uh, congratulations, the boys beating uh, Booker T. Now, Booker T is going to be a team you got to reckon with, though. They got some players. They have one senior on the, in the lineup, so that's yeah. a team you're going to have to reckon with. And, and so is Midwood City, though. Uh, Midwood City is only losing Roy Henderson and, and uh, Brian Williams. But, uh, you know, Booker T is going to be the team that you got to watch out. And you still got to watch out for crossing. Uh, Kyle Arbor, they lose some guys, but – uh, Coach Price, you better get him back. And, you know, you know, Coach Hatchett over there in Dell City, uh, he'll find a way to get uh, things going again. Um, but Midwood City right now, they're the, they're the king of mid Dell. So if you see a bomber player, stop over at Taco Bell and get him a, um, a wrap. <laughs> and then going into 5A, now this young lady goes undefeated. With the El Reno Indians, we had her on the show, and that's what happens, folks. You come on the show, you win a what? State championship. State championship. We're the good luck charm. We yeah. might not be the good luck charm in basketball, in football, but we are the good luck charm when it comes to basketball. Congratulations <laughs> to Coach um, Miss uh, Jimmy Christmas. Help me out. Oh, why am I blinking on her El name? Reno, Miss Douglas. Her. Yes, Jim, folks, that's happened to get old. Yeah. Jennifer Douglas. Congratulations right. to her. Winning her state champion, going undefeated, um, and you don't see that a lot. You you might see one or two losses, but she goes undefeated. And guess what? She got a lot of her star powers coming back. So yeah. I don't think El Reno ladies are going nowhere soon. So keep well, eye on them <laughs> next year. But congratulations to Jennifer Douglas and El Reno uh, ladies winning the state championship. Then moving down to four A, four A boys, man, this was a hell of a game. I can say it's my show. Hell of a game, big game. Yeah. You so you got mm-hmm. Douglas playing against Weatherford. Weatherford led the whole game. The whole game. Weatherford's hitting threes. Got a young man inside, big brother inside, just, you know, controlling the paint. But Douglas finds a way, you know, and and you got the young man that left, took his talents from Millwood over to Douglas. Uh, What's his name? Uh, Jaden Nickens. Jaden Nickens. He decommitted from OU. Yep. I just didn't want to say his name because the guy's kind of a little bit arrogant, I'd say. But he's a good ball player. But, you know, Douglas found a way to win. Whole game, they're getting beat. They go into overtime. Um, you know, they, they hit some big shots, free throws, three-pointers. Uh, Scott hits the tying three to take them in overtime. Then you can just tell uh, Weatherford was just out of out of breath, I'm tired. Most of those guys have played out of, played the whole game. One of the best players fouled out. So, uh, congratulations to Douglas and uh, Coach Alexander going back-to-back. And guess what? That's another Midwest City alumni. There you go. There you go. That's two. <laughs> That's two. No, three because Coach Noel is a bomber. So three bombers won state championship on that Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening. That's big time. If you – where are my bombers at? Yeah. Where are my bombers at? Who, who? Where are my bombers at? Yeah. Where are my bombers at? Who, who? They might not have it in football, but they got it in basketball. Right now, I'm telling you, the bombers is hot. Coach Noel is going to get guys to come in. When you win, people will come. Am I right or wrong? And you see how these kids are. They'll leave you in a minute. The house will be packed full of furniture one day, and guess what? They ain't going to be around. It's going to look like that uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air episode. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air episode. When when Will Smith's just standing in there like, what happened? Guess what happened? (laughs) We're going to get to – we got got some hot here because we drop it out here over Keeper 100. I'm almost done. So then you go down to what? 4A girls. Bethany, probably one of the best teams around. I got to watch them play in the Midwest in the uh, Mustang Classic. Got a couple girls going to OU. <clears throat> beat up on Leaky Christian. Beat them up. I mean, beat them up. 48 to 28. Wasn't the game. Everybody talking about Leaky Christian supposed to be the team. Not that Saturday, wasn't. They went home, runner ups. But Bethany, I think they're back to back state champions. So congratulations to those young ladies. But then we go down to 3 8. My girl, Jenny. Jenny, Jenny. Not Jenny from the block. But Jenny from Jones, she got beat by the Bell. And Bell, man, they've been trying to yeah. get there and get there and get there. But Jenny Holbrook has been in their way from Jones. Because, you know, they did it three in a row. And Bell said, come on, Jenny, let me get one. Let me get one. And I went over to watch that Bell and Jones game. And folks, I'm talking about, if you're talking about a basketball atmosphere, that's a basketball atmosphere. They, they played over at UConn. UConn's a fixed 6 a school. Yeah. A big school, Big E. Big, big, big school. That place was packed, green and red. And I loved it. I thought it was Christmas in there, had all that green and red. But I got to watch the Jones girls. The Jones girls lost a lot. 
when you lose a lot, you're going, you're not going to win every ball game. So I tell you though, Jenny, I have to give it to you. You know, um, don't have all the star power that you've always had, but I tell you what you did have. You had pride. You you, you won with class. You win with class. You lose class, and that's what she did. Don't think Miss Miss Holbrook's gonna be down. Cause hey, when you the Jones. Lady Longhorns, I took the picture down because I had to put somebody up there special on my wall today. <laughs> That's my baby. My mm. baby. Love that young man. Mm. Don't carry my last name. Boy's a national champion. Biggie, I'm proud of that. Yeah. Proud you, be, you, got, you ought to be. I mean, I got, he, yeah. got to be. Got to be. Yeah. I love all my babies, though. Because yeah. all my babies was there to enjoy them at one time. And that's what it's all about. Ain't no jealousy in this family because we one team, one dream. Because mama, mama HR Jessica, you know why? She keeps us on this boat and get out of line, she'll smack you. <laughs> but talk about Ida Bell, congratulations to them. They finally got one. They knocked out Jones. To be the champion, you got to knock off the champion. And that's what my boy did. The kid was a two-time champion. Gabe said, not today. You know what he said? He called it Big E. He said it was a road to revenge. Because both kids that beat him was in the semifinals and the finals. Yeah. And he took care of them. You know, if Gabe was a deer hunter, I'd be like, he snapped them off. But he ain't a deer hunter. <laughs> he was a wrestler hunter. So we'll keep going, though. But congratulations to the Bell girls winning their first state championship that I know of. They might have won some before, but I know they got one since I've been around. Yeah. So congratulations to them. Then you go down to the uh, – they beat Washington. Ida Bell beat Washington. Uh, it wasn't even a close game, but, you know, they beat them. And then you had – who who is it uh, – so you got two A or Oh, then you had Millwood getting beat by uh, Oklahoma Christian, um, which Oklahoma Christian jumped out to a big lead. Millwood cut it, only lost by five. But Millwood didn't get a chance to get back to back because their player, what's his name again? Jaden Nick. Oh, Jaden Nick went over to Douglas. And he said, wherever he goes, he wins. Well, son, that's true. But you got to win in college. You can win if you actually take your towns to 6A. Let me see what you got. Quit playing in 2A, 1A. Come up with the big boys. I'm calling you out, big man. But then we drop down to Dale, and guess what? Guess who won the boys? Dale. Dale over mm. Pecola. Yeah. What was the score? Beat them pretty bad. 60, 63-38. 63-38. Yeah. Mm. Guess what? Dale's a what? Three-peat. Three-peat. Congratulations. But Dale's girls came up short. Yeah. They was going for their second, maybe third. But guess what, Merrick? So not today, Dale. We're going to beat you 25-23. That's a low-scoring game. But Dale, Dale girls come up short. But, folks, like I said, we're going to have a special guest. We're going to bring on Roy Henderson. We're going to talk about his great career at the Midwest City High School. His daddy won a state championship. He won a state championship. And that's special when yeah. you can say, Daddy, look at my ring. Mine's is 2023-24. What's yours? Yeah, yeah, Dad, mine's a little bit bigger. Mine's a little bit shinier. But we'll be right back after what? After one of our sponsors. Keep it at 100 Oklahoma High, high School. School I'm glad to be back. High School Sports. Glad to be back. Man, Dad, all this crazy weather has gotten our roof and gutters all messed up. Good thing we know some guys over at Rain Down Roofing and Gutters. They can inspect and repair your roof and gutters and get in contact with your insurance company in 72 hours or less. Call Jay Hunt at Rain Down Roofing and Gutters at 405-473-0674. No job is too big or too small for rain down roofing and gutters. Welcome back to Keep It 100 Oklahoma High School Sports on this Wednesday. I said Wednesday, Wednesday. Nice afternoon. Got the grass growing. The birds are chirping. And I got a state champion on the phone, Mr. Roy Henderson. What's up, Roy? Yes, sir. What's up? How's it going? Man, we can't complain, man. We're sitting on the phone with a state champion. And, and, and you know what, Roy? The good thing about it, me and Big E, Jonah's off today. He's uh He's saving lives and kissing babies and hugging moms. But we got you on the phone. But Roy, as we was talking about, you know, your, your junior year, you win five games and you come back and your senior year and win a state championship. And, you know, you had some bumps and bruises this year. And, and it's one of the things I want to talk about because at the end of the day, you know, when people start recruiting this young man, uh, not only are you going to get a good shooter, but, you know, Roy, you, you learn through the trenches like, hey, you know, sometimes you and Coach Noel or some of the coaches might have bumped heads. But one thing about it, I have to say, you kept the focus at all times. Yes, sir. So uh, so tell me a little bit about, you know, your junior year, you know, winning five games and going into your senior year. Um, My junior year, it was more like it was just me. And I kind of got thrown into that leader role early. Because my freshman, my sophomore year, I didn't touch varsity. But then my junior year, 
I was working that whole summer, and it was like I got thrown in the fire early. And as soon as I walked in the coach's office, they were like, Roy, you're going to be that guy. You're going to be that leader. You're going to be who we need, who the ball is going to go to. You and Deshaun. So it was more like I was taking all the shots. But then we come into this year where we get a new coach, we get a new playing style. I got another score. So me and Karshian, at first we bumped heads, but then we picked it up as like as the season went on and we, we played together and they couldn't nobody could really stop us. No, that's true. But you know what I liked about that, man? What you just said? Yes, you sir. Said we, we bumped heads. And and a lot of people want to admit that. And, and and that's what I'm talking about. A true, a true, a true statement of a young man. You can admit, hey man, we bumped heads, we wasn't on the same page. But I think at the end, like you said, and you could see it on the court that you guys, you know, it was kind of like uh, I hate to use this phrase, but egos, uh, egos. I was gonna say Crips and Bloods, sure. you know, you know, we yep. go, we we from sure. different sets, but you know, you can see it. And, and but you know what, man, I, I like it because you said it. A lot of people For won't sure. say it, man, and, and and that's what makes the statement of you being a hell of a young man. And I told your mom this the other day. I said, man, one thing about you, you always say yes sir, no sir, and, and, and that goes a long way. Yeah. Granted, man, you 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 want your flowers. You deserve your flowers. You a hell of a player. You a hell of a yes, shooter. Sir. You might be one of the best shooting guards in the state. But you know what, man? And, and, I, and I'm going to be real with you, brother. Whoever give you a scholarship, man, granted, if you like it, don't like it, man, go for a year or two. And, and mm-hmm. you can always yeah. transfer, man. I, and I'm, I'm going to tell you, man, because I can preach today, brother, mm-hmm. because I, I, I'm going to tell you why I can preach, because look at some of these kids, man, they get these scholarships and they go to these schools and the coach get fired. Now they ain't got nothing. Man, have that, the most important thing is you're going to have that education to fall back on. If you go yes, play sir. overseas, if you go play uh, wherever you go play at, man, you're going to always have that education. So, man, I, I'm glad you came out because a lot of young listeners going to listen to this. And for you to say, hey, man, we bumped heads, you know, we wasn't on the same page. But at the end of the day, you guys came together and, and became a state champion. And and, and I'm going to sure. give Coach Noel a lot of that because he had to deal with that. A lot of times when you get so many superstars on the, on the court – Everybody wants the ball. Everybody wants to score. But who's going to play defense? Who's going to get the assist? And, and, and that's what it comes down to. And you did all of that. You, you had some big free throws in the state championship game. You had some big-time rebounds. You had some big-time blocks. So you did it all. And, 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 yes, and that's what and that's what made you a state champion. So, But I started to mean to cut you off. But keep telling us, though, you know, you know how, how you guys developed and became, you know, better teammates. Uh, it was more like we just had to sit down and talk and – understand each other because he knows that I'm good. I know that he's good and we both understand that we can go far. And he was we was just like, if we don't figure this out, nothing's going nothing's gonna work. We're not gonna win nothing. But if we figure it out, then we're gonna win something because we went into that I think it was the Edmund Memorial Tournament. Yes, we sir. went into that tournament and it was just like what my teammates would say, we was playing horse. Like we was just going shot for shot. Like <laughs> we was just, it was just, we was just not on the same page. And Tori had to sit us down. We was in a conference meeting. And it was me, him and Tori and the other coaches. And we was just, what can he do to help us? And what can we do for each other to help us? And mostly practice too. We, we had to start practicing hard because in practice we would go through the motions but then we realized, like, I love it. we we got a chance. We have a chance to win, hard, like, win big. We have a chance to make a legacy and be legends forever. So we was just like, let's let's pick it up all together, and we came up on top. And that's 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 fantastic, man. You talk about you know you, you know your dad was a state champion. I mean, we see yes. you win a state champion. Uh, what year did he win his? <laughs> Shoot, a long time ago. I, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I believe. I think. Did he, I think he might have won it under Coach Evans. So it's been a long time ago. I think. Yeah. Evans or, or uh, I think it was Evans. I think it was Coach. Yes, sir. Evans. It was Evans. But, but you know, I mean, just to share that that passion, winning with your with your father, you know, him winning one and you winning one, and both wearing black and gold, and you know, and 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 that's that's amazing because that don't happen a lot of times, man. But you know, for you guys to do that. And then you guys can sit down at the dinner table twenty years from now, and, and you know tell your his grandbabies, you know, hey, daddy won a state championship. I want to say, and and that's that's like you said, you can carry that legacy forever. People's gonna know yes, that you won a state championship. 
you know, 2023, 2024 season. So uh, that's big time. Let's talk about your recruiting. How's it going, man? I know um, it's probably had to crank up a little bit, you know, because the way you play in the state tournament, people got to be coming after you, man, because you're a hell of a player. Yes, sir. It's, it's going it's going well. I got McPherson, Cali, Eastern Oklahoma, um, San Jose, uh, and I got a couple more. But I'm just, like I've been telling Tori, like, it takes time. He told me it takes time. He told me that uh, schools are in the March Madness right now, yes, and sir. some schools are still playing. So it takes time, but they're gonna reach out to me because I'm a I'm a good I'm a good player. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What I mean, if you had your dream school, where would you want to go? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. No. You know, not staying, not going too far, but staying. staying what, what's wrong? What you, what you mean? You can't you, you can't go too far from mom and dad. No, nah, I can, but I just want to. I just want to put on for the city. <laughs> no, I hear you. I hear it. I hear you. There's nothing wrong with that, man. Uh, yes, what about sir. you? What about UCO? You, 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 you're not down with the Broncos. No, nah, I would. I would go there, man. You know, I, I tell you this, man, and I'm and I'm gonna tell you this because I have a young man. And, you know, he's 22, and 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 I was that dad. You know, and Ethan played mm-hmm. ball with with Gabe at at, at, at I said Memphis at Chata. And uh, I really thought he's going. Both my boys, I thought he was going to go D one. I was at D one, Dad. D one, D one, D one, D one. So all I kept at D one, D one. My wife's get mad, like, "Oh, you talking about D one?" And 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 um, and you know, I was, I was ate up with it. I ain't gonna lie, it drove me crazy. Couldn't sleep. Who's gonna recruit my kids? Who's gonna pay for their school? And, yes, sir. And, you know, and my son got some D one offers. So, you know, you was on them. Um, uh, Little Rock, Arkansas was on them. Nebraska, and you know, we, me and him went to probably Little Rock two times, and then they offer him and Little Rock's doing really good in the wrestling program I actually I text coach uh, uh, Neil last night uh, uh, <clears throat> told him good luck this weekend in, in, the, in, the, in the big 12 I mean not the 12 tournament but the uh, the NCAA division one uh, wrestling tournament but uh, you know my son ended up picking UCO and yes, you know Little Rock had threw him you know a full ride and this and that and that and you know I was mad because I wanted him to go D1 but at the end yes, of the sir. day you know he looked at me last year and he all American he said did I make the right decision and I said, son, you made the right decision because at the end of the day, it's your decision. Not what, what mom wants or dad wants. It's what Roy wants. If Roy wants to go to OU, you go to OU. You know, if that's the school that you love and you want to be at, if you got to walk on or whatever, because I think you got the talent to go play at OU. You know, you still, sure. gotta, you still got to work hard. But, you know, when you make that decision, make that decision for you, not for nobody else, because at the end of the day, you're going to be wanting going to school, doing the workouts and all those things. So, Make that decision for you, though, because I think wherever you go, you're going to make somebody a great, you know, you're going to help the team. Um, and, and, the, and the ultimate goal is, is for you to try to win a, a national championship, try to get for to the sure. next league, and, you know, like I said, if it's an NBA, uh, whatever you get to, you know, um, just yes, just, just go just go full speed. I mean, don't go half speed. And, <clears> but, you know, like I said, you know, what's, what, what what you got going now since basketball over? Are you going to run track or um, you going to just, just work out? What's, what's going on now? Shoot. Just stay in the gym all spring break. I just been in the gym like crazy. So really just get better, work on my craft and work on my um my weaknesses and also just get the shot better to perfection. It's not gonna be perfect, but I'm gonna try. Do you do you go to a trainer or do you just train on your own? I go to a trainer and I train by myself also. So you taking your sister, you know, folks you didn't know his sister and Zoe play on the same AU team and one of probably one of the best teams in Oklahoma. Uh Crush, uh Lady Crush, twenty twenty nine, coached by Coach Dre. Uh we've got a nice little team, got a chance to make some runs this year and do some big things. All the girls stay healthy. Uh you gonna know about these young ladies, Brooklyn. Uh if you watch her game, it's just like her brothers. Uh I think when you put Zoe and Brooke together, man, I think it's like the down at, uh like Batman and Robin. Um they both yep. can go and score and play great defense. Uh so it's it's good, you know, and, and Roy could tell you back in the day they were kind of like you and Tayshawn a little bit, you know. It's like not not that they didn't like each other, but it's just like, you know, you, you know when you have – and I tell people this all the time, you got to realize this. When you have two two great players on a team, you got to learn to share. And sometimes it's yes, hard sir. to share. And, and I think uh, you guys did a great job of that. I think you and him – uh, can write write a book about it and, and make a ton of money on it because you know you you spoke up and said hey man we, you know we didn't we didn't do these things and now we are doing them so I, I think that's a, a, a fairy tale story of his own man and I, and I think it takes a real man to say that man and so uh, really kudos to you Biggie you got anything for Roy? Yeah, I mean just kind of talk about you know you kind of hit on it a little bit earlier but you know just the, all the changes that happen 
between last season and this season, you know, you, you only won five games last year, you get a new coach in there, you know, how much, um, you know, just kind of talk about um, Coach Noel and his staff and what he brought to the table and ultimately what was able to change uh, between uh, last year and this year to get you guys over the hump. Um, he was, it was more like he came in, let's work, let's get to it. He gave us one week, I think for the off season, he gave us one week, do whatever you need to do, clear your head. And it was just straight to work. And ever since then we've been working and it was like, he had meetings with us and what he told me was Rui, you're a hell of a player, but you got more people coming in with you. You have, you have. Mark Jackson shooter, Deshaun Denson shooter, you got Carshion, you got Mason, you got people around you that can also score the ball. And he was like, college coaches want to see everything you can do. Yes. Last year you was the leading six A scorer. You was you was leading six A scorer, so they know you can score. But can you make the right pass? Can you make the right play? Can you go get a rebound? And he was just like, you have to be a real point guard this year. We know you can score the ball. We're going to give you the green light, but also get your teammates involved because without your teammates, you can't win a game. And you know that from last year. So basically, I just, I just, we just all stepped up into our roles and we, everybody played the roles well. And Coach Tory was at the end, Coach Tory Bradley and DJ and Coach Denson and Coach Trez, they was all proud of us. So. And and that's big time, you know, bringing Coach Bradley back, a guy that coached, you know, Coach uh, Noel. Um, it's kind of helped you guys. I know the X's and O's have been there, been to a couple state championships. So I think uh, the Memphis City Bombers is back, and I know – uh, Toy kind of said in his, you know, his little interviews or whatever. Hey, we back, and I don't think they're gonna fall off next year. I think they, everybody comes back, and uh, they're probably gonna add a couple players too. So I think the For Bombers sure. got a chance to go back to back and maybe three peat because uh, some of those guys are still young. I mean, I know your cousin. Um, uh, I think he's one of the, the top players. And number five, what's his name? Number five for you guys, Desh Deshaun. I think by the time – he's just a sophomore. I think by the time he leaves, he, he's going to have a bunch of offers, though. But, you know, it, it, it sucks that you got to graduate, but I think, you you know, you left you left your legacy at Midwest City. Everybody knows who you are. Um, you know, I think your attitude is, 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 is amazing now. I think, you know, if anybody listens to the show and for you to come and be a man and say, hey, you know what, we bumped heads, but now we, we corrected it. And guess what? It shows that on the court. That's why you guys are holding up a gold ball at the end of the year – uh, not just because of you, not just because of him, but everybody at the end played the team ball. I thought number three for you guys in the state championship was a big, big, big plus helping. You know, oh, for sure. Uh, you know, getting steals, getting buckets, and doing the things he did. And, um, and you know, you and you knocked down two game free throws. I think it was the, the game against uh, – uh, was it Collinsville? You went in and knocked down the game yep. winning free throw. And then I think you knocked down was – it, it was it the Carl Albert game too? No, it was the it was the Booker the, T. Washington the Booker T. Game. Washington game, you know, knocked yes, down, sir. you know, free throws. So, I mean, you know, and that's and you got to be calm and collect in that type of atmosphere. Got a chance to win it, you know. If you guys probably don't win that, knock down that free throw in the in the Collinsville game, they could have knocked you guys out. But you know, you was For calm, sure. collected, and knocked it down. So, Roy, man, I really appreciate what you've done. I um, mean, you keep your head up high. Um, you know, whoever gets you is gonna get a, a, a one amazing young man. And, and an amazing player, you know, and I think you've grown up a lot, man. And, and that's what I like to see young men grow up because, like I said, your mom and dad has done a great job with you. I know your mom is really super proud of you. Uh, but, you know, I think that the town of Midwest City is proud of you, which you, you know, because like you said, going to be in your team and having to share it. And some people don't do that. And I think you did a great job at the end taking on that. And that's why you guys got the gold ball. Biggie, anything else before we let them go? No, I mean, we're in March Madness right now, so just got a question. Who do you think is going to win it all this year? Oh, man. I got Kentucky. Kentucky, okay. Or Arizona. Arizona, yeah, I like Arizona a lot. I'm going I'm to I'm go and tell y'all wrong, man. It's going to be Houston. I mean, you, you know, think? no, no, and, and Houston lost. It's good to lose sometimes early because then you come back, you got to get prepared. So watch out for watch out for my man Kevin Sampson. He gonna he gonna put on the show yeah. during the during, during the time. But hey, hey, the Big Twelve is tough though. You know, I don't I don't know who to pick. Oh, you didn't get in, so I'm kind of sad. But I'll be cheering for all you women. But uh, I, it's, I I love this time of the year. You can sit around on the couch and get fat and watch basketball. So. <laughs> Uh, well, we're going to Roy said, who did Roy say, Kentucky or Arizona? We'll see. I yes, think sir. at the end of the day, we, when you, when we all, when it's all said and done, we're going to be, Houston's going to be cutting down the nets. Big, anything okay. else, Big E? 
No. Nope. Well, Roy, man, we appreciate you, brother. You keep yeah. doing your stuff. Keep working hard, man. Keep being a leader to these young kids because they look up to you and also your sister, right. you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, uh, everybody's going to remember you as a state champion, point guard, shooting guard at Midwest City. So good luck to you in the future. If you ever need anything, keep it 100 here for you, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes, sir. Well, folks, that's Roy Henderson, the outstanding point guard from Midwest City uh, Bombers. Took him to a state championship. Like I said, folks, if you didn't hear it, man, it takes a real man to say, hey, we wasn't on the same page. Yeah. And a lot of people wouldn't say that, especially, you know, especially guys with egos. And they said it. It was, it was, it was egos. And that's a real young man to say that. You know, I'm not saying – Tayshawn or Corshawn would say the same thing because I don't know the young man that well. But Roy came on keeping 100, and he kept it 100. And that's what we like about the show. But, folks, we ain't done yet. We about to bring on the hottest college coach in wrestling and hear in about a few seconds. Coach Stiley from the UCO Broncos right after what? One of our sponsors. Keeping it 100. Oklahoma High School Sports. See how I can change that up. <laughs> With 25 years' experience in the industry, Linex Customs OKC is your one-stop shop for all your vehicle accessory needs. Specializing in spray-in liners, lifts, levels, wheels, tires, bed covers, and anything else you need to make your ride look and sound better. Call Eric and the boys at 405-778-8878. Welcome back to Keep It 100 Oklahoma High School Sports. Like I said, on this Wednesday, nice Wednesday, spring break Wednesday, people's enjoying it. But folks, we got the hottest, hottest coach on in wrestling right now, Coach Todd Stein. How you doing, Coach? UCO. Hey, head hey coach. Tony, I'm doing great, and it's an awesome Wednesday, man. I, I appreciate the call. Man, Coach, you know, it, it's – it's you know, you and you know, you've been doing this. It's, it's funny because, you know, me and my brother and and Danny was talking about just, just the other day when we were sitting there in, in Wichita. And, and you know, it's, it's funny because our boys bang against each other when they were younger, and, and, and you yep. got a chance to, you know, be with you at uh, – at, at, at you know Team Oklahoma, and and you know and people don't understand wrestling's a tough sport. I don't know nothing about wrestling, Coach. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't. Uh, you know, <laughs> I remember the first time me and Gabe went to a freestyle tournament, and we're driving. I think it might have been out of Kuita, not Kuita, but uh, what? But uh, God, Cushy, Cushy, Cushy. Yeah, we're yep. driving out there, and he says, "Dad," I said, "Yes, son." He said, "Don't say, don't don't say ride him." I said, "Why?" He said, "Cause it's you, you, it's it's freestyle, Dad. You let him up. You don't you don't ride him." Thanks yeah. for telling me that, he, son. So, you know, yeah, he's coaching you up. Yeah, he's coaching me up to make sure I don't make a fool of myself when I'm in the stands. <laughs> but, coach, I know you got to feel tickled, man. You know, back to back state, I mean, national champs, a state champ, but national champions, you know, you lose a bunch of, you know, seniors from last year's team and you come back and you just reload, coach. And, 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 I, and I was sitting there telling somebody just uh, at work, you guys got a chance to do it again next year. So, I mean, what's it been like this ride, you know, because uh, I think you've done a hell of a job at UCO. Um, you know, you get coach of the year, uh, you're a fiery guy. And that's what I like about you because you, you don't put up no BS. It's, hey, guys, either you get the shit done right or you can be sitting over here next to me. So, I mean, what's it been like, Coach? It's been great. You know, it, it, it's it been awesome. And, and the reason it's been awesome is we got great, great young men that, that we get to work with every day. And, and uh, they they make work easy. I mean, not I'm not, I'm not going to say easy, but they make it enjoyable, you know, because – they show up. They work hard. They never complain. They're all in, and uh, and uh, it's it's just it's a true blessing to be with those guys. And 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 we were fortunate. We we were able to win it last year, and then we're we're able to win it this year with a couple of new guys. But yes, uh, you know, at UCO, that's always going to be the goal to win the national championship. But but our guys have really, in the last couple of years, they they've just they've bought into just effort you know putting out great effort in practice every day looking to improve every day in practice and and uh, not stressing out for matches going out and doing their best and if, if something happens and it doesn't work out at that at that time they they get back to the grind they they work on what the mistakes they made and and uh they know they're you know you got to qualify for national so regionals is huge but but they know they're you know there's two big tournaments regionals and nationals and and that's really all that matters and Everything else is practice until then. So, coach, you know, you come back like you said, you lose some big time players. You know, Flippo, um, you know, a guy that's been with the program, his dad's been with the program, and you know, you look yeah. at those type of guys, and like you said, you come in this year, you start Dylan Brown at forty nine, Hunter Jump at you know sixty five, 
uh, a yeah. new 33 pounder, uh, you know, your 25 pounder gets hurt. And, you know, so you, you're looking at it, you know, I know the beginning of the year, you're probably scratching the head, like, you know, what are we going to do? Where are we going to be at? But, you know, you end up having a hell of a year, you know, you go, what, 15 and 0 in duels. And then, then you win every tournament too, that you guys went in the Midwest classic. And then the, uh, and then the, the team duels, did y'all win both of those two? Well, we, we did not win the Midwest classic, but we left five starters at home. Okay. Okay. And, okay. Uh, and we finished third, which was, we were really happy with that. I mean, you always want to do better, but uh, we felt really good about about the guys that we took. And, you know, we had some guys placed at the Midwest Classic that's the toughest Division Two tournament in the country that didn't start. And they got great, great experience, and that experience is going to pay off for them next year. And, and they're going to be able to, hope, you know, make possibly have the opportunity to step in and, and uh, pick up where these guys left off. Yeah, that's big time. You know, you talk about, like I said, losing those guys and you have these guys step in. Um, you know, you go to regionals, you guys get eight guys in. Easy could have had ten guys in uh, just like the year before. But, you know, you know, you look at it and you go in there and you look at Lander and you look at uh, Carney, you know, because you guys go down to that Carney – uh, duel and I mean that was a tough duel, Coach. I mean, uh, you know, you had yeah. to have some comeback and big time bonus points to get you guys over the hump and that. But you know, uh, I think this team was tough made. You know, I think once they start, I, I think Dylan Brown. I know, I know they ended up giving it to Wells, but uh, I think Dylan Brown was a guy that I think, um, you know, coming out of this year, um, you know, seeing what he could do, it, it was a really, really big surprise for the team. I mean, we knew he, what all kind of schools he had coming out of NEO, but I just tell you, man, I think he's a young man. I think next year he will be competing for a national championship, you know, and, he, he, and also Hunter Jump, you know. I think, uh, you know, you get those guys, you know, going, man, and these guys end up placing in, in, in the national, I mean, the national tournament. Uh, that's big time because, you know, you look at it at one point in time, you know, we're sitting there looking at the team lead. We're like in sixth or seventh place. And next thing you know, we get everybody on that, on that, on that front run, you know, that and, – and, and next thing you know, UC's up. You know, they're up by four. Then they're up by 12. Then next thing you know, nobody can catch them. So um, that's a big p- part of you and the coaches, what y'all do, man. I think, um, you know, people talk about you guys all the time, man. UCO should be a, a Division One school. But, you know, you guys can go – Division One teams don't even want to wrestle you because that's why. Well, you know, yeah, there's a good. A lot of them don't want to wrestle us, and and it it does affect their schedule. You know, I, I'll give them the benefit of the doubt on that. <laughs> yes, but sir. but you know, you're you're right. You, the Hunter jumps, the Dylan Browns, the, the Gabe Johnsons. You know, uh, Gabe took seventh last year, and this year wins a national title. Once you get on the podium that first time, that you're, it changes. It helps you change levels, and uh, and and that's big. And and our schedule really helped us too. You know. Uh, going into nationals, everybody or not everybody, but a lot of t- a lot of coaches were complaining about their region. They they felt like their region was really tough. Well, our region, we had the had the national champion, and uh, and and we had the team that finished fourth. And uh, you know, no other region was that tough. And then our conference, it's a small conference, but we had the national championship team, and we had the third place team, and no one else had that. You know, so. Our, our level of competition really, really helps us uh, throughout the season and at the end of the year. And, and the, the, the level of uh, competition in the room helps us a lot. We got a lot, of, we got a lot of dudes that can go, and they're waiting on their opportunity. But they also know that, that it's their jo- – I don't want to say job, but part of, part of being the program is to help these guys prepare, you know, the last four to six weeks – They've been helping our guys prepare for regionals and prepare for nationals, and yes, and uh, it really it really paid off. You know, we had six of our eight guys wrestled over their seed at the national tournament, and that's unheard of. And and I really give our workout partners or teammates the credit for that, and I give our assistant coaches the credit for that. I mean, Coach Chen was up there every morning. He's working with those guys. We were able to, to bring in Derek White, who, again, again, he's up there in the morning. He's up there in the evening. Uh, Noel Torres. Uh, we've just got a tremendous staff for two, for a Division II school, and, and we're, just, we're just very, very fortunate. And, and we call it the, the UCO wrestling family, you know, and, and that's what it is. And, no, and, it, and it's awesome, man. It's, just, it's unbelievable to be a part of it. And I'm just so blessed and, and thankful to, to, to be where I'm at. 
you know, you talked about the family, man. That's one thing you could talk about. You know, last year you guys were in Iowa, and you had a bunch of fans come to that. You know, and that's traveling on a plane. It ain't like it's driving. You're traveling on a plane. And then yeah. this year you have it right down the street. You know, couldn't get asked for anything better um, right. in Wichita. But, man, I'm telling you, man, you see your fans come out, you know, and you kind of put something on, on one of the news flies, uh, you know, guys from 40 years ago coming out supporting, man. And that's and that's what it's all about, man. And I, I told, you know, my mom, because she got a chance to come and hang out this weekend, last weekend, and, and I just told her, I said, man, I, I don't care, you know. Uh, when my son picked UCO, and I kind of told the young man before I had, had you on the show, uh, you know, Gay picked UCO. You know, Little Rock was up, you know, talking to him. Uh, right. OU, you know, Nebraska, you know, and 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 you know, and you know, we kind of talked about it. And I told him I was all about D one, B D one, D one, D one. But the one yeah. thing about it, I, I liked, you know, when he was getting recruited and you and Chitterwood, you guys, you know, you you know, you told you kept saying, Tony, this is a family. You know, I like yeah. I said, I don't know that much about wrestling, but as as I got to see it for myself, man, kids, if you go to a college and you're looking <laughs> to go to a good program, go to UCO Bro. I, I, I'm for real, coach. Because yeah. man, when Come you when, when you when you watch, you know, my son's gonna be part of that one day and I'm still gonna come. But when you yeah. watch the fan base, guys from 20, 30 you guys, I mean, uh, I, I think one of the guys, I think he's a four-time national. I think it was Evans. I think it was Evans. Uh, he looked like he still could go. Uh, but, you know, just seeing all these guys come back, man, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, you know, and, and be there in support. And they don't know yeah. Gabe Johnson. They don't know Hunter Jump. They know him, but they don't know him. But just to see the, the love they have. And, and you can't ask that. You, I mean, I, I don't care – OU, OSU, and I'm not knocking them programs because they're great programs, but sure, just the love absolutely. that you have, man, it's 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 a it's a family, folks. I, I'm being for real. It's like a, it's like a family reunion. That's what it yeah, was. It, and it is, it is, and it, it's awesome, man. And and uh, uh, we're just we're we're proud of it, and and uh, the alumni is proud of it, and 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 our administration did a great job. Oh, you great know, job. our president showed up, and his wife, and and our uh, uh, president lamb and then uh and then our athletic director stan wagnon and and his staff and they're between rounds setting up chairs and man, stealing coach. chairs and beautiful people beautiful. Chairs and, beautiful man it just and, man I, I you know people ask me man you know everybody do coach i probably had over 700 uh things in my facebook page and i like oh, to yeah. post stuff man i love to post stuff about the team and make videos yeah. because i mean this is this is my last son is going to play sports i got my baby girl hopefully and yeah. she's already said it dad if i go to college i'm going to uco so i don't Heck care yeah. she wants to go play basketball at uco hopefully mm-hmm. they offer her one day but man when you when you when you when people you know texting you and and and, and it was just so great because it's a great atmosphere, man, and it's it's family, man, and each one of those young men cheer for each other. Even the guys that's not starting, they're still there supporting, and 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 that's what it's all about, man. Because you know, so yeah, much this right. world is built on so much jealousy, and I don't see that, man. I mean, coach, if you'd have seen Gabe's face when Anthony got beat, you'd have thought Gabe had lost. And, yeah. And and, and 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 you know, my wife said, man, you should have seen Gabe. You know, and and you know, it, it hurt him. Because he yeah, wants Anthony right. win, but you know Anthony had a hell of a year, uh, you know, and and and, and Ab, you know, Abney. I mean, these guys, man. I mean, just yep. the leadership they bring. Uh, one of my favorite guys is probably uh, Heath Gray, man. I mean, he's he's a character, but you know, just being there, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying just to be yeah, there and just yeah. cheer, man. You have so many guys come back, man. And I'm just telling you, man. You, I don't. My family's not that big, and and I, I love every bit of. But you know, coach, that has a lot to do with you. Those guys love well, you. They support you. Uh, you've done a great job with this program, man. Man, and I was going to tell you when you was recruiting my son, um, you know, you kept telling me, "Hey, Tony, he's going to he's going to win one." And I was like, "Man, I don't know about all that." And that's a <laughs> tough thing to do. But you know what? It Coach? is a tough thing. And, to and, do. Yeah. And, and, and I tell you, I don't, I don't, I think, I think you guys got to. I'm not saying a few more. I think you got a lot more because, man, some of the guys that you, I mean, you can put anybody in that lineup, and, and, and they're going to be successful. Really, truly, man. And, and I know well, it's tough as a coach. You got to look at those kind of things. It, 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 it's tough. You're right. But, you know, they work hard and they prepare. And, and when they get the opportunity, uh, most of them make the most of or a lot of them make the most of it. So it's, uh, it, it's great. It's, it's just been a wonderful weekend and, and, uh, trying to wind down a little bit and, and get some rest and start recruiting next week. <laughs> there you go. You right. go on the road. Uh, so are you on vacation this week? Are you in the family anywhere? Y'all just kind of hanging yeah, out? Yeah. My, my wife and, and my son were, were, out of town for a couple of days and then uh we'll start watching d1s we were going to go and just 
to be honest, I just wore out, you know. So, <laughs> hey, me too, man. I go, I know, I know if I'm wore out, you're wore out because you're down there coaching and you know, yeah, getting them so, prepared, man. So, uh, you know, it's so we're fun. gonna sit on the couch and watch it. You that's know? that's but, big time, though. You get to cheer on John Smith, one of your good friends, and hopefully, this yeah, still, that's right. That hopefully those guys can pull it out. But, coach, you know, you talk about recruiting, uh, I know you lose a big time heavyweight, and uh, Sean, you know, um. You know, what's, what's yep. you guys got some good guys coming in, or you got some because, like I said, you know, one thing about UCO, my daughter mentioned this. She said, Man, a lot of the kids are from Oklahoma, and that's funny because, you know, you look at it, a lot of our guys are that's on your on, 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 on the team are from Oklahoma, so you do a great job in Oklahoma getting these kids. Well, you ha- we have to make our living with Oklahoma kids, we just we do, and we've been very fortunate with that. And, you know, we know a lot of the high school coaches, a lot of them wrestled at UCO, so that helps a lot, but. In order to get to that next level, you may have to go get one or two out of state guys, and we were able to, able to do that with Sean Streck, and and uh, you know we're we're probably going to bring in fifteen or twenty guys in the next couple of weeks recruiting, and uh, uh, you know so we look for the right fit. We don't just look at acc- accolades, you know. We look we look for guys that we think are are going to fit in uh, with their character and and academics and uh and work ethic and and that's what we're looking for and we we've, we've been, been pretty been very fortunate the last four or five years to find the right guys that's big time Eat, you got a day for coach coach Stanley? i wish i did i'm not <clears throat> i don't i don't know a whole lot about wrestling so <laughs> <laughs> just being that's completely right. honest so yeah. Yeah. But Coach I don't Sally, know much about basketball either. <laughs> but Coach Sally, man, I mean, I, I know you, like I said, you're sitting on this high, uh, you know, two back-to-back, man, and that's kind of, it's kind of, you know, really in this time of day and age, man, uh, when you start thinking things like that, you start thinking of the, uh, you know, the uh, Patriots, you know, you know, uh, the old Cowboys back in the day, you know, dynasty, yeah. you know, and, and you look at it, man, I think you are, because you, what did you say, this is your eighth year coaching? There? Yeah, eight, eight year UCO. Yeah, yes, sir. I mean, I mean, eight year, man. A lot of people like to have that kind of record, coach. Because I mean, if you look at, you know, I was back looking at some stats this morning just to have some things to talk about. But you know, you look at it, man. You kind of finished, you know, second or third a few times before, so you was right there, uh, you know. So I mean, then you know, the COVID year, you know, we, you know, yeah. it was kind of weird. I was the first time experience going to that, and you know, I got to watch my kid wrestle in that, and didn't do very good. He went zero two. Then he, when he loses his first match last year, I was like, man, this might not be the turn for us <laughs> I started telling yeah. his uncle dad I said this might not be the tournament for us but you know uh after he watched his first man it's funny because my kid really won't he really won't talk to me coach you know I might text yeah. him like you know because I you know I, I hear you and coach uh should we get on to him man you know when I'm watching it from home and and you know like you know she would keep, keep wrestling keep wrestling you got to score and I tell yeah. Dave all the time I said man if you get three takedowns it's gonna be hard for anybody to beat you so usually my text after the match is like are you all right what's wrong the hell's wrong with you man I mean <laughs> he, you know because he wrestled lights yeah. out when I was in Nebraska then the next night he wins four to two and I'm thinking how the hell you gonna score 15 points the night before yeah. take the guy but you know <coughs> and then my brother comes on to me he's like have you ever wrestled in Nebraska I mean uh Colorado wherever you was at I mean he's like the yeah. aptitude is totally different and I I'm like, no, I only wrestled one year, sixth grade. I wasn't very good, so I quit. But you yeah, know, that ten thousand feet, that ten thousand feet altitude has it definitely has an effect on you for man, that's, sure. That's big time. But coach, man, like I said, I'm really super pumped. You know what you've done at at the you know uh, UCO Broncos wrestling program, man. You got them in the right direction. Uh, I think you're the hottest coach out there. I know the ads are probably like, man, please don't try to come get my guy because coach, you are hot, man. I'm telling you right now, man. You well, you've done a I great appreciate job. that, man. I mean, I mean, you've done a good job with these kids and and just doing the right lineup though you know i mean i i tell people all the time man you know and you know and and you know sometimes as a parent and i can sit and say it on this show you know you know when you read shirt to gabe i'm shaking my head like why coach but you know yeah. you, you got a process and sometimes and, I, and i'm gonna eat crow sometimes you got to trust the process and you know what you're doing yeah that's right and, and, and oh, you know well, thank you. And you, you know what i'm saying I mean, i'm just being real yeah. you know i didn't know you know yeah. and then when i sit back now and i look at i was like man this kid still got two more years and and, and you know and he's with a good he's with a bunch of, <laughs> and he's with a bunch of good guys so i, I really yeah. appreciate you you recruiting my son I know the night that he won, and, you know, I want to give you guys a shout-out that night. But, you know, on this show, I want to give you the shout-out because I think right now what you're doing with the UCO Broncos uh, wrestling program and just being part of the, you know, you retweet every other sport that they do, man. So that's big time. So I know you bought in in UCO, and so they're lucky to have you on the staff and with your wonderful wife and son. Um, and he came and gave me a hug the other night, man. And I just, like I said, Coach, we've been banging for a long time, but now we're we family. Sure so I love yeah. it, though. But I appreciate you giving us the opportunity to come. 
come on the show. Not only will high school, but we get to talk college wrestling today. But Coach Stiley, I'm gonna let you get back to your family. But like I said, I'll see you in a couple of weeks, and uh, thank you for everything that you do. Hey Tony, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for the opportunity, and uh, have a great rest of the week. And roll chokes. That's it, baby. Roll chokes. Thank you, Coach. You bet. Thanks, Tony. Have a good one. All right, bye bye. Well, folks, that's the head coach of UCO Wrestling Broncos, Coach Stiley. Yep. Uh, back to back, champ. Come let's put our backs yeah. together. <laughs> Back, back to, to back, back, folks. Back, back to, to back. back. That's hard to do yeah. these days. Yeah. You know, you when you like I said, when you start talking about back to back, you start talking about the Patriots. Yeah. You start talking about the Cowboys. San Francisco 49ers. Yeah. Who else, Biggie? You can't talk about the Packers. When did the Cowboys go back? Oh, oh I, I mean like, that wait. back in the day, Key. Okay. Probably before you was born. Don't talk about my Cowboys. Yeah. We coming. Maybe before my parents were born. Sure. Hey, hey, we coming, E. <laughs> I think we got dicks, don't we got Who? The Buffalo Bills receiver. Mm-mm. I think he coming. Nah. I wish we'd have got a good running back, though. I was really thought they were They're trying to bring him. back Zeke. Nah, I don't. <laughs> Why the hell are you going to bring that fat sucker back? <laughs> but e, let's talk about something real quick, then we'll yeah. close it with my son. But, uh, you know, um, the rumor is, and, you know, we don't know, but keeping it 100, you know, we like to talk, right? Yeah. The rumor is that the outstanding quarterback has went back to Texas. Yeah, the one from uh, Carl Albert. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm asking you a question. Why do you think that? I I honestly can't think of anything. Maybe he wants to face better competition. Maybe he want. I don't know. Uh, but uh, as far as Carl Albert goes, I mean, that's one of the best, if not the best, ran program in the state and has been for uh, decades. Um, and I don't know why, <clears throat> you know, uh, there might be there might be some family situations going on. Um, it could be something that's going on by, behind the scenes that is private to them and uh, and all that. But, um, you know, I, I think that would make more sense than anything else. Like if it's something within the family rather than like academics or, or no, I don't think athletics. It's academic. I think the but, kid is very smart, very bright. But, yeah. you know, he, I, don't, I don't think it sucks about that because you had a young man that was a senior last year, didn't get his opportunity to, you know, maybe his cast was a junior. Now he gets to be a senior. But, mm-hmm. you know, he got his, his senior taken away because, you know, Spirit did come in. But, you know, now it's going to be the next man up. And, you know, Carl Arbor, like you said, a, a great program. Yeah. Uh, Coach Johnson, Coach uh, Mike Dunn, I mean, they'll do a good job, whoever they have at the QB. It, it, it might be Anderson Collier's time. You know, I yeah. mean, I get a chance to work with this young man myself. I, he's made some big throws. I mean, you could tell he's improved from his freshman right. year going into his sophomore year. Uh, you know, I'm a big Anderson fan because, you know, he's, he's like my own kid. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push for him. But, you know, he's going to he's gonna have to do some things. You know, he's got to become a man real quick, Big E. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of times you don't like starting a, a sophomore quarterback. But I think, you know, with Carl Albert, what they can do with the run game and not put him in a bad situation, control the game. Because a lot of times quarterbacks are – you get quarterbacks that – they're, they're game controllers, and I think he could be that. But can he make that big throw? Yeah. Is he going to make mistakes? Yeah, he's a young kid. I'm not right. saying he's going to be the starting quarterback, folks, so don't be going, well, Coach or Coach Tony or keep it 100. Tony said, no, folks, I'm just saying the kid can go. I think the kid has the skills to go. I think Elijah's got to get a little bit bigger. But Carl Albert's always going to be Carl Albert. You know, yeah. you never know. Somebody can move in, and, 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 and you know, you never know. That's the way that, the way that it goes right now. Yeah. Um, and as see, of right now, this is all – Rumor. Rumor. And, like, and, nothing's confirmed yet. Yeah. But, you know, I do think uh, this is confirmed, though. What's the young man from Millwood's name again? Uh, Jaden Nickens. Uh, he did the commit from who? Oh, you. Why you think that, Biggie? Uh, he wanted to play uh, – he said he wanted to play football and basketball. Um, you know, he, it's kind of – I mean, at the Division One. I, I mean, really, tough. at any level. It's tough. It, it's hard to do it. I mean, the, the seasons overlap. I mean, you're going to be pushing your body to the most extreme limits. It's two can dif- diff- completely different weight, like weight training programs and conditioning programs. And, you know, it's just, I don't know. Um, I mean, there have people, there are people that have done it at the division one level. You look at um, uh, that uh, tight end that played uh, uh, Jimmy, is it Jimmy Graham? I think Jimmy Graham, he did it at Miami. Julius Peppers did it at North Carolina. I mean, so it's possible. Um, but uh, it's just one of those things where it's very, very tough. And, I mean, I'm not bashing the kid at all. Uh, I wish him well and good luck. I mean, he's a tremendous athlete both on the field and on the court. And, uh, you know, if he's going you know, to set his mind to that, I commend him for it. You know, go go do what you want to do. 
Um, and, you know, I think another thing is um, for him is – uh, finding a coach that's going to let him do that because you know what I heard is that coach Venables <laughs> wasn't going to let him play basketball if he was going to play be playing football um, but um, I think another possibility is maybe he just goes on and plays basketball uh, you know maybe he you know he transfers to Douglas and kind of falls back in love with basketball wins him a state championship maybe he wants to do that but um, you know whatever he ends up doing I wish him well uh, sucks that uh, at least for the time being doesn't look like OU is going to be getting him but um yeah, I just wish him well, and uh, you know whatever he wants to do, I hope he goes and does it. So tell me this, Big E, do you think he's back at Douglas next year? Or you think he goes to a prep school? I don't know. Uh, I mean, Douglas football team didn't win one game, so I, I hardly, simply, one hundred percent don't think he's gonna play football at Douglas. Probably not. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, maybe he would. He does go somewhere else um, over the summer, and um, you think there's a chance he go to Midwest City. I could see that. Maybe Midwest City, maybe Carl Albert, maybe um I, well, mean, I, I mean, I think I think if Sperry was still at Carl Albert, I think he would have went to Carl Albert. I mean, not knowing mm-hmm. who the quarterback's gonna throw him the ball, uh, I think that could be. But Midwest City's basketball team with Coach Noel and uh, you know, what's the Tayshawn, is that his name? Um the young men that committed to Oklahoma State, but they lost their coach. Uh, so uh, the point guard yeah. that you know that was that's still gonna be there, yeah. I can see him teaming up with him. Maybe you see uh, him in the blue and gold. You never know. They go and <laughs> I'm just saying they go and they go and get people, folks. Did y'all just hear this, man? I'm just saying they but go and know, get people. I mean, I got to get a blue gold. I mean, Coach Corbin gave gave some love and Vineyard and Coach uh, Coach Carter. You know, thank you guys for that because you know, I mean, uh, you know, I said all the time, and right now I'm gonna be one of them conceited dads. Uh, I think Gabe Johnson, you know, and not taking down from Big E and Roberson, but I think he's one of the top players that came out of Chaton the last oh, 100%. uh last, you know, yeah. I would say eight to ten years, you know, and, and I know a lot of times they don't give them those flowers over there because of me, me and Hawk uh kinda had, you know, not bad words, just good words. I mean he, you know, I know a lot of those guys might text him on the side, but folks, because you don't like me, then you still give my son his love, you know, because uh, you know, you know, I had to I had to humble myself, you know, when when he didn't go D one and, you know, Teresa Coleman wrote something very special the other day about him. She said, uh you know, this kid could have been played three different sports. You know, he was a hell of a baseball player back in his day. Um, you know, played football um, and, and 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 basketball. I'm not basketball. Uh, uh, wrestling. wrestling. Yeah. He ain't no basketball player. Yeah. Hell no. But uh, you know, <laughs> and, and think about it. And, and he knows, man, just the work that that these people that he puts in. You know, Coach Daly said, you know, his first year he goes to national. He, he starts as a true freshman. He beats out a kid that's that's nationally ranked on his team. Yeah. Comes back and 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 you know he starts as a true freshman. I think his record six and four because the COVID year, but you know he gets another year, so he goes there. He goes zero and two, folks. Boom, boom, he's out. You know, my kid ain't been like that since five. You know, you gotta realize his the things he's done is and when he was from kindergarten to you know, I think fourth grade, fifth grade, and they do little league state. He won six or seven, you know, little league state championship. Goes to junior high, wins two junior high state championship, and gets outstanding wrestler. Goes to high school, his freshman year, he gets beat out. It's supposed to be a four timer, folks. That's why I said sometimes you can't bleed a high. Supposed to be a four timer. Gets beat his freshman year. Don't even make the podium. He cries. I'm sitting there watching my son cry like a baby, like a newborn baby. I said, son, you got you know you got to work. His uncle Danny Breed says the same thing. You got to work. So he goes there, comes back sophomore year, comes out sophomore year. We go over to Deer Creek. He beats uh, K. Menem, hell of a wrestler. Uh, the next day, we're getting ready. Folks, we're, 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 I've already bought my ticket. Me and my brother, we bought our ticket. We're on the way to Reno, the Russell Reno tournament. His freshman year at Reno, he takes second. I'm thinking, hey, he can go win this shit. He gets in Reno. He breaks his he breaks his wrist. Don't get to go to Reno. So don't get to Russell and, and, and Gary, none of those big tournaments. Comes back, and he loses to a kid out of Ponca City. He lost four matches. He lost to the same kid all four times. Gets beat in the finals like eight to four. That's his sophomore, his sophomore year. So he takes second in sophomore year. Junior, he comes back, you know, goes like 30 and two. Wins it his junior year and he wins it his senior year. And he's getting recruited, you know. But I'm thinking I'm still, he, I still got my finger crossed. This kid's going to go and play college football, you know. Abilene right. Christian, the Air Force is talking to him, you know. Nothing's coming across the board. And, you know, he kind of gets frustrated. He goes, man, you know what? I'm just going to wrestle. So, you know, Little Rock starts talking to him. Uh, OU starts talking to him. Nebraska, you know, say, hey, you come up to our camp, you know, we'll probably give you an offer. Um, you know, Little Rock through the house said us, man, we're driving back. My wife calls me because how did we 
like, how did he go? I said, babe, he ain't going to go here. She said, why? I said, man, you can just tell. We get in the car, man, he falls asleep on me. He don't want to talk to me. Man, people, you know your kids. You know you, you, yeah. you know your kid. And I was like, he don't want to go here. So Stiley takes me, hey, don't let him go to Little Rock. Don't let him go to OU, man. This is the place to be. And I'm thinking, man, man, <laughs> man, my baby got a chance to move on that red right. I want to go to OU. Right. So I was like, nah, man, nah, come to UCO. This is the place. This is the place. We're going to be good. You know, I don't know that much about wrestling. So then Teresa Coleman, she's like, man, Tony, this is it. This is where he needs to go. Benny Coleman is where he needs to go. Benny, his coach, father figure to him. Um, coached my son since he was five, six years old, along with his uncles, Jerry and Danny. Much love for those two men. A little bit of Jonah. Me, I was just a guy that drove everywhere. <laughs> Paid for the ticket, you know what I'm saying? Don't know that much about it, but you know, as we sit here right now, before we let you go, I am a fa- I am a proud, fa- a proud father of this young man because he worked his butt off. The last two kids he beat was the two kids that beat him earlier this year, and he's sitting in there, you know, and and you know, his first match he doesn't come over and talk to me, and and, and he finally comes over after the second match and he's like. Man, I got that monkey off my back, Dad. I said, "Okay, cool, cool." I said, "How you feel? I feel good." I texted him earlier. He didn't, you know, he he didn't, he didn't, he didn't really, you know, he gave me a little hard thumb up and all that. So, you know, we got folks. I'm telling you, his his side of the family, we probably got 30, 40 people there. Yeah. Uh, probably about twenty. I'll take that back. We probably got about twenty people there. You know, from his yeah. side, my side, his mama's side, and everybody's there. And I'm telling you, man, you couldn't ask for a better weekend. His mom, my mom, I mean, his mom, um, her husband. And her family, and my mom, and my brothers, and Shaquille and Ivy drove down. I mean, it was just just the only person we missed was Jonah, but he had his babies. But just to have my whole family there, Biggie, was amazing. You know, to, yeah. to watch this. Um, so, you know, he comes and he, you know, he 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 wins it. But folks, the thing about I love about him and I liked about Henderson both is is that it was it was they're not beating their chest. They're not saying it's mm-hmm. me, 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 me. He's like, man, I was on a, I was on a revenge factor, and I was gonna knock these guys off. The guy in the semifinals beat him eight to one earlier this year. Yeah, you know, uh, and and you know he had COVID. Nobody knew that. We didn't go around saying, oh man, he lost because he had COVID. He's like, I know I can beat this guy. The guy in the finals man, beat him earlier in the year in overtime. He knew he can beat this guy. So, folks, I'm telling you right now, have your kids work hard because you only get one shot at you know a shot you know one or two shots at this. Make sure they're working hard because I know this young man, I know my daughter, and and, and, and when Deshaun was playing, they put the work in. Livia, when she cheered, she put the work in. Shakayla, when she cheered, they put the work in. Now, I'm trying to teach my granddad, my grandbaby. I don't know about her yet, folks. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Ivy, I just don't know about her. She'd rather go shopping than put a glove in her hand and hit a tee. Her first game is next Monday. If you see me next time and I'm completely bald and all gray on my face, that's because of Ivy Jones. <laughs> because I want my baby to be good. But, man, I just think she's going to be an actor, or a movie star. But, Big E, anything else before we get out of here? No, I mean, I just want to send my congratulations to Gabe. You know, um, I know how hard he works just from playing sports with him and high school and everything and the way that he carried himself. I knew that, you know, he was going to find success at the next level. Uh, he finally uh, got through that um, that next level. Uh, did his thing, and then, you know, he has another year to go do it all again. So, uh, two, um, biggie. two, two more years to go do it all again. So, uh, just congratulations, Gabe. Proud of you, and uh, keep doing your thing. Well, folks, like I said, man, I, we thank you for everything you do. It, you know, keep it 100. Uh, it was cool that we had a college coach, Coach Zali, give me his time. He's on vacation with his family and his son, and, and he and he takes, you know, 20 minutes out of his time. Same thing with Roy Henderson. You know, he's trying to, he's trying to find the right school. And I tell you, folks, if you, if you get a chance to – uh, to see this young man, he's a great young man. I've been around him for the last few years. Uh, I, I I love it that you know Coach Noel sat him down, but you know he could have he could have he could have he could have bitched and moaned and pouted, but you know what he came back and you know and he said it, man. And, and it takes a real man to admit their fault. Yeah. And you know a lot of times shit I don't do that, and I'm a grown ass man. I'm 51, <laughs> but for a young man that can do that, but that, like I said, that, a lot of that comes from mom and dad. So. Uh, Roy, go do your thing, man. Good luck to you. Whoever yep. gets you is going to get a stud, not just a basketball player, but just also a great young man and, and, yep. and a great family because I tell you, Miss Henderson should be there with her pom-poms going, go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. She's one of the loudest <laughs> cheerleaders. I mean, I'm telling you, when we used to play against them when we was uh, Hustle and, and Kansas United, man, did I not like them. But guess what? We family now, so it's all good. <laughs> so, folks, we love you. 
Always what? Keep it 100. Keep it 100. And do what? Tune in. Tweet. Oh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, tweet, retweet, all that good stuff. So, or I guess it's repost now because it's not Twitter anymore. But anyways. It's X uh, now. Yep. So. X make you want to do it all night long. <laughs> Real shout out to my man Tate Johns. Big man, I tell you, man, the kid, he he wants to sit right here. I'm going to have him come do a show with us, man. He knows his stuff, Big E. We're going to have him fill in for Jonah one, 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 one uh, Sunday afternoon when okay. everything comes down. Uh, he, he he knows what he wants to talk about. He wants to talk about Colorado basketball, Memphis State basketball. So, Tate, I'm, I'm telling you something. I'm giving you the invite. You got to get, get your shirt up. Folks, I ain't got to keep it 100. I got my, my UCO wrestling on because yeah. today's all about my baby boy. Got him on my wall. Got Big E right yeah. here, man. I'm fired up, man. We'll catch you next time on what? Keep it 100. Oklahoma, Oklahoma High, High School, School Sports. Sports. See, See ya. ya.